Good day, fishing fans in the Northeast. Today is Monday, June 17th, and we are going to discuss again the conditions in the Northeast from Massachusetts to North Carolina, the Cape Hatteras to Massachusetts, especially the canyon areas. And today's imagery and conditions have constructed from over the weekend up until Monday data, so it's pretty recent. And what you've probably noticed, within the last couple of weeks, things have really started to warm up, especially down off of New Jersey, New York, and South. So let's go through some of the highlights. Again, this is the sea surface temperature conditions, your purples, blues, and greens are cooler water, your yellows, oranges, and reds are warmer water. The Gulf Stream is up to almost 84 degrees already down by North Carolina. Up farther north is 81, 82. Few of the main features we're keeping an eye on is this large Gulf Stream warm core, clockwise rotating eddy off of Atlantis to West Atlantis Canyon. This has interacted with the Gulf Stream a few times, and you can see this warmer water. This is probably 75, 76 degree water, and wrapping around and into block to West Atlantis, 500 fathoms, looks pretty decent. This will continue to move just like normal to the west and then southwest, improving the areas of Hudson Canyon probably um, by next week or two. This water's pushing up this way. There is a number of eddies down in these canyons to keep track of. And the water's warming up to 70, 71 degrees inshore now. Um, reports of bluefin tuna inshore all the way inshore, like 10 to 20 fathoms off of New Jersey. To get excited about, there is a uh, clockwise eddy here we've been following. The Gulf Stream is not too far offshore. We've got another Gulf Stream eddy counterclockwise right here moving up. We've got a number of eddies. There's a clockwise eddy right around Spencer, another counterclockwise eddy around Wilmington. Uh, we got a couple eddies down south, a clockwise here, another clockwise one here, and another clockwise one here. This water, this clockwise eddy is bringing water up and into toward Norfolk. And you notice this counterclockwise eddy off of, looks like uh, east of the Cigar, up in the Norfolk to Hatteras area. This is this is probably pretty good fishing for you guys, either Virginia Beach or Oregon Inlet. Congrats to, to, to the participants of the Big Rock. I know now a lot of boats are starting to head to the north, east, and things are warming up. There's been good, good tuna action um, even blue marlin, mahi in this water that was off of ba Baltimore and Hormans last week. And now it's all the way down off of Washington, Norfolk Canyon, kind of blended out. But there was some decent big eyes caught Baltimore to Poormans last week. And slim pickings up further north that I've heard of. A few yellowfin here and there. Lots of life, though. So... There's got to be some tuna moving in soon. And conditions are going to continue to warm pretty quickly this week with the with the high um, 85, 90 degrees or higher this, this week. Up here, we've got a, I believe we've got a counterclockwise eddy in this area. And we've got some rotation up and further east. Now, this water is probably only... This water is probably in the 70s already, mid 70s. This water is probably in the upper 60s. Um, some decent conditions off of, way off of, looks like Oceanographer Canyon for tuna, pushing up and in. And we, there's something, some kind of rotation here coming up and around, I believe. And some water coming around this way, coming down this way. But what's really interesting is what the Gulf Stream is doing on the south side. There's a large counterclockwise eddy here. There's an, another 
clockwise eddy forming this way. And look at the turn the Gulf Stream takes further east, even down this way with a with a with a counterclockwise eddy way down here. Very interesting because this water bulging all the way south is blocking the Gulf Stream from its normal path. And then the Gulf Stream starts to get closer to the canyons in this area, especially off of Jersey, Delaware, Maryland, Virginia. It'd be interesting. Things are gonna should be improving quite rapidly now, even with Marlin. So we got some tournaments this week, schools out tuna tournament. Get signed up for that. Let's look at the ocean color chlorophyll data. This is from Saturday and Sunday. And yes, yeah, some green, cleaner green water, turbid green inshore, like normal, but lots of blended blue water, clear water already in the canyon here, especially down south off of Baltimore, Washington, Norfolk. This little bulge right here looks pretty decent. So yeah, that's that's uh, what it looks like uh, today or this weekend, this past weekend, this past couple days, and things are gonna start warming up quick. So uh, get a hold of Ross, www.ross.com, or call the office three two one seven two three five seven five nine, and we will put you in the right spot for fishing. Some water pushing up here in the Tom's Canyon too. I just noticed that. Good stuff, and hopefully these northern canyons will get better and better over this last this next couple weeks into July. All right, over and out. We'll talk to you in a couple weeks. Thank you.